Are you interested in plants or growing your own food at home? And are you also maybe a bit of a tech and gadget junkie? Do you like checking out the latest technology products? Well, if so, you are absolutely in the right place right now. And I am so excited to be sharing this update with you. Listen, my name is Nate. I'm from Urban Leaf, where we specialize in making indoor edible gardening easy and accessible. So today is August 6, 2020. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a preview of a brand new, it, it hasn't even been released yet, but a brand new grow light product that we are intending to bring to market later this year. Now, why are we doing this? Why are we sharing with the internet plans for a product that isn't even out yet? That's a great question. And there's two reasons. First of all, it's been a really, really long time since we posted an update here. And I did want to start out by apologizing for that fact um, and the reality that we've just been silent for so long. Uh, the truth is that there's been a lot of things changing over here in terms of our plans for this product. So it's taken us quite a while and honestly longer than we expected uh, to get back to the point where we uh, are ready and we actually have something to share with you all. The second and more important reason is that what we're wanting to do here is an experiment. Uh, we haven't tried this before, but we're going to give it a shot. Uh, what we're doing is inviting you guys, our YouTube community, to be a part of the design team for this project and help us make some of the critical design decisions as we bring this product to market. Okay, so before I get into showing you design and what we've, what we've been working on, uh, I did wanna share with you just a little bit of the backstory so you kind of understand the, the context here. So Rob and I started exploring the grow light market in detail uh, a couple of years ago now which involved testing out all of the competitor products. We've literally looked at every one uh, and reviewing all of the best sellers that we could find on Amazon. Anyway, as we learned more and more about how these things work and how to actually use grow lights for indoor gardening, um, we put out a series of YouTube videos starting in December 18. Um, for those of you who've seen them, you might be aware, but some of these videos have now gotten like hundreds of thousands of views and we are sincerely uh, grateful for the interest that you guys have all shown in this topic, the fantastic questions that you've asked and you know your support uh, of this content. Anyway, what we came to realize is we looked at all of these grow lights on the market and we tested out all of these options is a few things. First of all, it became clear that there is a lot of junk out there and products that really don't work that well. I'm not gonna name names, I don't wanna get into trouble, but trust me, there is. The second thing we realized is that it's actually really confusing to go shopping for a grow light as a consumer. Uh, the reason for that is there's a lot of misinformation um, and it can be really, really difficult to know what it is you should be looking for. So basically what we figured as we looked at all of these products out there and all of this confusion is that we could probably design something better than uh, what anything else that's out there uh, on the market. So what we did a little while back is put out this video in which we told you that we were developing our own grow light. Now, at the time, uh, our focus had been on an E26 screw-in fitting, um, which basically has a, a round light that it emits from it. What we realized, however, subsequently, is that there's some pretty big regulatory issues with that sort of product. In addition, and probably more importantly, um, a round sort of light doesn't really fit our product portfolio that well. We, most of the things we offer kind of have a rectangular footprint. So anyway, we went back to the drawing board late last year, decided to change direction, and our focus switched. Instead of, instead of a, a round light, we started focusing on a light bar instead. And so the process of developing this new product started in late 2019 uh, when we formed a focus group of passionate indoor gardeners uh, and we started asking them about what the perfect grow light should look like and how it should work. We hooked up with a bunch of industrial engineers, mechanical engineers and electrical engineers and we've been working with them to incorporate all of the feedback that we got from this focus group. And what we've been trying to do is kind of combine it all into this functional, elegant, and hopefully easy to use design, uh, which is exactly what I'm about to share with you guys. So drum roll, please. Um, here it is. 
So this is the product that we're planning to bring out. Let me explain a few things. Basically, it has four components. Uh, the first is the light itself. Uh, this would be sold individually. Uh, it's about 12 inches long. It has a long row of LEDs, uh, each of which has their own lens. Um, and using either double-sided tape or maybe some small screws, you could actually mount this thing underneath a, like a cabinet or a shelf. Um, the stand would be an optional extra. Um, we'll sell this separately, but that basically has three parts. So it's got a metal arm at the top, uh, which holds the grow light bar in place. Uh, there's a leg that connects the arm and sits on the ground. Uh, and then there's a tray which can be used to catch water from your plants and basically you know, protect your countertop. So we've designed this kit and the elements that it contains to be as versatile and as uh, easy to use as possible. So the arm and the leg would both be joined by an adjustable clip, which would allow it to kind of move up and down. Um, and uh, you could also use the arm by itself along with some suction cups to mount the whole thing on a splashback. So you could put it in you know, your kitchen, maybe the side of a fridge or perhaps a window. Uh, I'm sure you guys will come up with some other ideas as well. Uh, anyway, here's a couple more drawings just to give you a, a, a sort of complete picture of what's going on. Um, in terms of the status right now today, we actually had a call last night with the engineers and we're fini finalizing the electrical side of the things at the moment. Um, but basically this is gonna have a true full spectrum uh, as well as incredibly high powered LEDs um, that are capable of producing plenty of lights uh, for edible plants that do require quite a lot more light than your more decorative indoor plants. Anyway, we are planning to have the first beta units of this product available at the end of August. Uh, we are still looking for maybe two or three more beta testers. Um, so if you are interested in being a beta tester and being one of the first people in the entire world to check out this product, make sure you leave a comment below uh, and we will select a couple of people at random from this group um, to receive one of the beta units. If you guys have any feedback on the design, good, bad, or otherwise, we would absolutely love to hear from you. Um, I guess the main things that we're looking for feedback on uh, is the overall shape and structure of the design. Does this look like something that you would want in your home? Yes, no, maybe, I don't know. Like, let us know either way. Like, literally the only reason that we are posting this video is to get your feedback and for invite you and to invite you to be a part of this process. Whew, need to take a breath. Anyway, um, we will probably be posting the next update in early September. Um, at that point, we'll have the, the beta unit so I can physically show you what one of these things looks like in the flesh. Um, we're gonna be looking for your input um, on the color, the finish, uh, the materials, um, all that sort of thing. We're also gonna be talking about lenses and optics and a whole bunch of other stuff as well. So if the idea of being part of a team of people that helps design a physical product and bring it to market is something that interests you at all, then you should definitely like this video, subscribe to the channel because we will have a couple more updates coming soon. Okay, to wrap up, I'm also gonna include a sign up page below uh, for our email newsletter. Um, we will be running some sort of launch campaign or promotion uh, when this first thing when this thing first comes out in December. Um, so if you would like to receive one of those launch coupons or discounts, uh, make sure you sign up below um, and you can be one of the first people to test out this product at uh, a discounted price. Um, guys, Thank you again for tuning in. I am so, so grateful again for your uh, viewership, you guys tuning in, dialing in, whatever it is you're doing these days. Dialing in, this is YouTube. Sorry, I'm so used to being on Zoom calls at the moment. I'm just used to the idea of video being a Zoom. But anyway, this is YouTube. You don't have to dial in, uh, you just download. Um, but uh, yeah, guys, thanks again. Uh, let us know what you think. Um, I hope you all stay well, stay safe. Uh, I know it's still crazy out there, but uh, Hope you're well, and we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.